Hi Sagittarius, this is Mary Shiva Chautaloka. Let's see, what is your situation as of now or what you need to hear from me right now? Sagittarians out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. What is it that you need to hear from me right now? Sagittarians out there, what is it that you need to hear from me right now? Nope. Your first card is the Queen of Cups. All right. Behind the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. All right. So it seems like some of you might be focused on someone who is coming through as a Queen of Cups. All right. Um, someone who is emotional, sensitive, compassionate, all right, could be an empath. You're coming through as the king of pentacles, very right? financially stable, secure, all that. Okay. This is between two people. This person is a giver. Again, when we are looking at the queen of cups, this person um, cares for others. That kind of energy. Some of you might be dealing with a Gemini or a Cancerian energy or probably an Aries or a Taurus energy. Can we have the next card, please? Sagittarians out there. This one. Nine of Pentacles. All right. They want me to look at a few cards here, which is this one. Okay. You're coming through as the Emperor now. Good Lord. What is going on? Six of Cups. All right. You know this person, okay? Like a six of cups along with the nine of pentacles um, and the eight of wands. It seems like you want to reach out to this person, all right? Eight of wands is all about forward moving energy, um, communication, travel, okay? Nine of pentacles is a single lady energy. And then it came out along with the emperor. So some of you might be focused on this lady all right want to make them your empress probably because this is a pre-empress energy this person doesn't have a partner in this deck and then we have the empress who is like you know who has her partner which is the emperor there is something about taking things forward with this person okay when i'm looking at the six of cups energy and the eight of wands energy you have this connection with this person, but you want to take things. Some of you might be uh, um, thinking of meeting this person because the Eight of Wands is, um, you can see this bike, all right, this person on the bike. So some of you might be making plans to um, meet this person face to face, that kind of energy. I get this energy from this Eight of Pentacles. Uh, someone is putting in thoughts. All right, it is a work situation, but someone is focused um, on what needs to be done. What do I get? Because there is something about the Four of Cups, which is like someone seems to be very unhappy right now, very discontent, very, um, uh, they're not satisfied, that kind of energy. And the Emperor wants to change things. All right, some of you might be dealing with a Sagittarius energy. Uh, a Scorpio energy, I'm looking at a Virgo energy, a Cancerian energy, a Virgo energy again, uh, or an Aries or a Taurus energy. Something about this person, all right? Uh, this could be the Sagittarius energy, all right? I might be speaking directly to you or the person whom you focused on, the cross watcher probably. Anyhow, you would know who's who, okay? One is the Emperor, or the King of Pentacles, same energy actually. Aries or a Taurus energy, King of Pentacles, Aries or a Taurus energy. Here we have a Gemini or a Cancer energy or a Dago energy. Whatever it is, this is one person and uh, the Emperor and the King of Pentacles is one person. You're focused on this lady, okay? Just switch the gender, all right? Gender is not relevant, but it seems like you're focused on a lady and the man is focused on a lady. Uh, there is something about this person where they're good by themselves, okay? Mm. They're all 
about giving? Hmm? A very, uh, even though they came through as unhappy with that four of cups energy, very um, discontent with life, there is something about them where they're good by themselves. You know, they have abundance around them. When I'm looking at the nine of pentacles, all these coins of the harvest. So it's, it's like they're okay. Okay. Maybe financially they, do, uh, they might not have issues. But there is something about the emperor who wants to, um, you know, uh, they're making plans. The emperor is make, making plans when, uh, if I'm looking, I think the eight of pentacles is peeping out. Yes. This this emperor is, uh, you know, looking at his laptop and making all this pie chart. So there is something about, and I feel like uh, they might be making plans to take things forward or meeting up probably because the eight of wands and the six of swords energy. Okay, it's it's um, there is something about travel. This person is trying to, yes, for once. This speaks about stability of security. It's a marriage card as well. Uh, along with the tower and the wheel. Like out of the blue, this person wants to change things for the nine of, for this, for this person. I don't know. Let's move on. There is something about the Queen of Cups where they seem to be very unbothered. You know? It, it, it's like they are in their own world. She's focused on what she's giving. She's focused on... She's unbothered about her surroundings. Okay? Who's thinking what? Okay. That kind of energy is coming through. About this person. It's, it's all about what they have and what they can give. That's why I said there's something about being compassionate, being kind, being selfless. There's something about this person. They might be a single lady when I'm looking at the Knight of Pentacles. There's something about being solo, like, I don't know, they're in their own world. They're happy in their own world. Carefree. All right. Doesn't look like it is for each and every one of you, but let's move on. We're looking at the page of cups. No, nothing else speaks. All right, this one. What is it? The magician. Okay. Very right? childlike energy. Okay. But there is something about they're coming through as a magician. Like a very strong manifesto energy about them. Now you get this feeling someone is watching this person. Okay. Watching them evolve or watching them grow. Because this, this child, again, this is again the same person. Okay, the queen is, is the page of cups as well. Uh, that's why I said I kept focusing on this person's uh, traits. Okay, there is something about them where they are very carefree. Okay. Like they don't have responsibilities probably. Okay, because page of cups, it's, it's like a child. Huh? And I get this feeling because the King of Pentacles was watching the Queen of Cups. So there is something about this person is focused on this lady or, or this child um, and watching them evolve. All right. Because there is something about this person where they don't even, because they, they, they are the magician. And they have talents. All right. It's, it's, um, Kind of mind-blowing as well. 
all right uh, something about them something about them they could be a singer probably they have something to give because I, I keep seeing the gift okay magician it, it's almost like there is something magical about them nice pretty cute <laughs> okay moving on some of you might be dealing with a gemini energy or probably a taurus energy can you have the next card please interesting reading i was pretty bored with the four other readings which i did previously Ugh, it was all about love and love and love thankfully this doesn't look like that like at least so far yeah or maybe it is i don't know because the emperor and the nine of pentacles can we have the next card please sagittarians can we have the next card please this one the chariot again Eight of Wands, uh, what was that the card? Six of Swords. Now, this person is on the bike. Behind the deck, it's not Cancerian energy actually. All right, and you've got the Seven of Wands energy because Gemini Cancerian, Cancerian energy. Some of you might be dealing with Leo energy. There is something about this person where they are very guarded. Like they are in charge. I don't know why why this reading is very focused on this person. Okay. Because this is the third lady. Queen of Cups. Nine of Pentacles, the lady in the card, and now we have a lady on the bike. Seven of Wands. Right? Um, it, it, it's not like adamant. I get this energy. They're very guarded. They don't let people in. Okay? It, it's almost like you don't know too much about them. Okay? This person is very intriguing. Okay? Because um, again, the magician's energy. But there is something about them where you don't know too much about them. It, it's like this person is in charge of life. Huh? Like I'm the boss. That kind of um, energy. Even though they seem very vulnerable, very uh, sweet, adorable, because the page of cups, you know, very, very sweet energy. That there, there is this other side of them where they're always in charge okay they know how to um you know put that line put that boundary okay Th there is always that line which which you cannot cross with them that kind of an element hmm, interesting i like this person already uh Seven of Wands. Yeah. They do not allow people to mess with them. Like, you know, no bullshit. They are like that and they do not entertain any 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 sort of nonsense. Huh? Something about them is very appealing. Some of them know how to ride a bike. All right. Some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian energy or probably a Leo energy. They stop me at the Eight of Pentacles. Ah, behind the deck, we have the Four of Wands. So there is something about someone making plans. Okay. There could be a meeting of some sort. Because this card st speaks about stability, security as well. This card speaks about a marriage as well. Uh, Eight of Pentacles is a work card. All right. 
So someone seems to be, because I came out earlier with the emperor, um, someone seems to be very focused on uh, what needs to be done when it comes to them. Okay, I don't know what, what, what that is about, but yeah, it keeps coming up on the side. Okay. Yes, two of cups. Uh, yes, so they're trying to clarify to me because two swords, the ace of pentacles and the two of cups. All right, someone seems to be contemplating how to make things work out. All right, someone is planning to offer a commitment to partner up. All right, could be a commitment of some sort. You might be interested in someone and you want to marry this person or probably have some something of that. Yes, Ace of Pentacles. Yes, Knight of Wands energy. Very fast moving energy, very passionate energy, very charged up energy. You're going to reach out to this person because you are thinking about new beginnings because I'm looking at the Sun card. All right, the Sun card. So there is something about offering something to this other person. All right, to this, to this lady. All right. But you, uh, you seem to be a little stuck or probably um, a little because um, two of swords and eight of swords had that same element of uh, you know blindfolded yeah you keep thinking what do I do about this how do I um, you know what needs to be done how do I go about this that kind of energy so there is something which you are working out you, you, you're doing uh, the planning okay hmm. all right can we have the next card, please? Sagittarians. Can we have the next card, please? This one. Seven of Cups. When, when I was, uh, you know, shuffling, I was I was thinking, it's it's kind of all over the place. Like the person who is thinking, it's, it's, it's like they seem to be a little lost. All right. Seven of Cups is the same energy. This person is awake, all right? A uh, little too optimistic, little too hopeful, not really sure what, what, like how to go about it. Yes, they're, they're unsure about the next step. There is a very scattered energy in the way they're thinking, okay? They really cannot pinpoint what they want to do about this, okay? What they want to do about this person. That's why I said a lot of planning is going on, but nothing is, and uh, even with that two of swords energy, they are still contemplating, they're still deciding. Eight of swords is like they're still stuck, they can't think straight. That's that's the kind of energy which is coming through with the seven of cups, you know, a little lost in the head. Okay. It's, it's like they cannot pinpoint what exactly needs to be done. They want to offer something, but what you know because this person has everything so what do i offer them that kind of energy the ace of pentacles and the sun card like you, you want to offer something beautiful probably a commitment or something because two of cups you want to partner up with this person that kind of energy but uh there is this scattered way of thinking okay how to go about it so you feel very stuck when it comes to them because the full card is a card number zero, which uh, you can see this person is on the edge of a cliff. So it, it's, it's the matter of taking the next step. All right. But they're unsure. They, they're very confused. Like what will come out of it? This is a person who's willing to take the risk of taking the next step. You know, you might fall and break a leg or you might fall on a bed of roses. It's, it's all about the end result, okay? Taking your chances with this person. All right. There is a very optimistic or hopeful feeling or kind of thinking when it, when it comes to them. There is something about this person wants to initiate. When I'm looking at that, uh, cherry energy. This person wants to initiate. When I spoke about the six of swords and the eight of wands, there's something about taking things forward. I'm just going to break the deck here and 
nine of swords but it stresses you out okay how things will um you know come through you know what will how will they react probably you know that that stresses you out you're losing your sleep over this the ten of pentacles like is it going to benefit you ten of pentacles is a long-term energy like it is you know it's it's like it's just not happily ever after it is a ten of pentacles uh, finances the coins in there so you're thinking about the long term is it going to benefit you that kind of energy that that stresses you out is this going to work out okay because the two of cups when you partner up is this going to work out for the long term because i'm taking a risk here i don't know how things are going to end up yeah that, that is yeah it's it's like a gamble all right Ooh. queen of pentacles six of wands there is something about this person i have pentacles and eyes of swords okay interesting Okay, six of wands is a victory energy. Okay. And queen of pentacles is somebody who is very grounded, very stable, very secure. So there is something about, again, we're going back to the lady. This person whom you're focused on is already a winner. Does that make sense? But there is something about them where... They're coming through, uh, I don't know, the five pentacles. Yeah, the five pentacles. So it's, it's like, because you remember the ten of pentacles I showed earlier? So it, it's, it's about the long term. Is this beneficial? So is it beneficial for the both of you? All right? <laughs> that makes sense because the ten of pentacles, four of wands, the stability, oh no, three of wands. Okay. Probably this person, this person is probably waiting on it okay is looking for that breakthrough with this ace of swords hanging in there because they seem to be in this five pentacles situation five pentacles is a not good place to be in so some of them could be financially struggling give me a second yes they're hoping for yeah the full card and yeah they could be hoping for uh, a brand new beginning probably because the death card is all about the transition okay so probably you wanting to offer them this chance okay for the ten of pentacles um, you know um, the end game they might need it because three of wands is somebody who's expecting for things to come through all right for them to get out of this five pentacles situation five pentacles situation is like if it's a relationship situation, it's it's like somebody who is uh, alone, yeah, because they came through as a Nine of Pentacles, um, or it could be uh, you know um, going through a separation or probably uh, financially. If it's a finance situation, they're struggling, all right, um, struggling with their resources. Um, what else? Um, yeah, and they feel out in the cold at the moment. All right, so probably they're hoping for some kind of, or they're not in a good place. Like location wise, they're not in a good place. Okay, so they might be because a full card is a new beginning. So they might be expecting for the transition to happen, like a new beginning. Like, you know, because the travel card. So it's, it's like, because uh, that that's, a loss energy like feeling like a loser and this is a winner energy uh, this card is about success this card is about winning all right victory so th there is a contrast so it, it's like um, you you might want to give them this breakthrough in their life that kind of energy all right take them out of um, or give them a chance probably with that full card I'm getting the words lease of life all right if it makes sense it doesn't look like a relationship reading uh i just broke the deck and they're showing me the knight of wands energy which is a very passionate energy all right contrast um very passionate energy very 
charged up energy, all that. So probably you were rushing in. If you felt stuck and all that, you know, you, you kept thinking and you were confused and you were lost, all that, it seems like uh, you're charging in because you've thought this through, okay? You, you've done your calculations probably with that um, Eight of Pentacles energy you, you, you made. Uh, you planned it out. That kind of energy. Okay. Can we have the last card, please? Sagittarians. Strange reading. Hmm. In the sense, like, it is focused on one lady and she's coming. Yeah, it's just the first three cards. Hmm. Because I said, all right, she's coming on the table. Uh, they showed me how you see them. All right, it seems like a verdict has been made. All right, so it's, it's like you're not confused anymore. You have decided, all right, because judgment is a final verdict. And then the will card, all right, three of pentacles. You are willing to make things work. All right, this is a work situation with this three of pentacles. Um, I see you planning it out, like you've decided. There is going to be a transformation within this situation. It, it's almost like you're opening up doors for this person when I'm looking at the world guide. You, you know, because when I'm looking at this judgment energy along with the world card, it's it's almost like it's destined, um, because it's a major arcanas. Um, it's it's almost like it's meant to be, all right. And you're deciding to talk about it because in the traditional deck of the judgment, um, the spirit is blowing the trumpet. So it's, it's like you making it loud and clear. This is what I want. All right. There might be other people whom you have to involve in this, in this situation. Like, um, like when I showed you, you're planning things out. Probably you'll have to involve other people in the picture Do you, or you might be just putting it out there. This is what I want. All right. Okay. It seems like you're going to transform somebody's life. That's why you're focused on this person, which is a good thing, probably. If they want it as well, it's a good thing. All right. Give me a last card, please. But there is something about them. I don't know. Because she's still sitting on the bike, okay? So I, I don't know if it's like you are giving them uh, the opportunity to bring their life back on track or they, they are already capable, all right? There is something about that, you know, because even with that Queen of Pentacles energy and the Six of Wands energy, it's not that uh, they, they don't come through as helpless. Okay, there is something about that. But then with that five, that's that's a little strange. All right, their situation is a little strange because, and they come through as a magician as well. All right, so this is not a person who is, uh, you know, I wouldn't say desperate. Okay, this is not a person who's desperate. Um, like you, you have to take them out of the slums. No. Um, I'm looking at the five cups and the nine of wands energy. Okay. There is something about you being in anticipation. That's why I, I focused. All right, that makes sense. Yes, <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. Uh, so when they made me think about it, this this is not a person who is um, who's desperate for um, you know help. Okay, or finances, because I told you earlier as well, this person has the money or is is good on themselves, like by themselves. That kind of energy is also coming through. So, um, but you want to give them a leg up, 
It does not make sense because they are in that five pentacle situation, which is like I told you, it's not a good place to, to be in. So you, you seem to understand that with that ace of swords situation and you want to do something about it. That's, that's how it's coming through. All right. Because they're already a winner with that queen of pentacles, very grounded energy, very, um, you know, um, a winner by themselves, like, you know, with that uh, six of wands energy. They already, um, you know, in an elevated stage. But there is something about when you come as the emperor and you're looking at the nine of pentacles, there is something about you wanting to, uh, because two of cups is, it's, it's the, you know, um, partnering up energy. All right. I get this word. Keep, keep getting it. A leg up. All right. Uh, you're giving them a leg up. All right. And I'm getting the image of my, my father. Um, when I was a child, uh, he used to, you know, lift me up on the feet. I don't know how to do it. I'm not going to do it on the uh, video. So it, it's like, you know, it, it's like the swing. If he's pushing me on the swing, I'm going up and I'm coming down. So it, it's like uh, the push. All right. Even on the leg, he used to raise me up. I was just a child. All right. Uh, maybe in my third grade or something of that sort. Um, or three year old because I was getting the number three. So it's, 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 it's the lift, all right? L lifting you up, letting you soar, that kind of energy. You're already there, but you're being lifted. That kind of energy, you know? Um, it, 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 there is something about exhilaration, all right? Maybe this person needs it, all right? Uh, that feeling of, because I saw this person as a four of cup, like uh, I told you, very discontent, very unhappy, all that, you know, over it, because on the hoodie of um, the Four of Cups, that lady who's sitting with her hands crossed, it, it says over it. So you're over it, you know, there is there is the sense of uh, very unsatisfied energy. So maybe you, you notice this and you want to give this person a leg up, all right? So yeah, if that makes sense. Yeah, because, and uh, again, the Five Cups energy and the Nine of Wands energy and the Ace of Pentacles. So there is something about, and that makes sense because um, I was picking up the energy about their uh, status, all right? And it seems like you worried, all right? Because Nine of Wands energy is somebody who's in anticipation. Like, uh, when I give them this, all right? This is bright and shiny and big. All right. So if I offer them this, what if uh, they don't want it? Then what? Because five cups, this is this is somebody who is looking at the cups which is filled over. So nine of wands is in anticipation. What if uh, they decline it probably? So you're on the fence about it. All right. You're on the fence about giving this to this person. Do they even want it? Okay. I think they want it. I think they want the leg up, but what if they decline? Then what? You know, that, that kind of, um, you know, thought process. You're on the fence about it. And uh, uh, my uh, throat is suddenly itching. <coughs> Just a sec. When I stopped the clock, it was 33.33. Okay. Um, so it's it's like... This message is meant for somebody out there, all right? For some of you, six could be because 33, 33 is six, six. Um, uh, so six could be uh, important for some of you out there. 33, 33 is important for me. I am a master number 33, if you know anything about it. Um, so yeah, So uh, and I feel like this is meant to be heard. If you look at um, the angel numbers, this is supposed to be heard for somebody out there so that was important and i was speaking about itchiness all right my uh, throat suddenly itched so there is something about someone not speaking their truth or somebody not um expressing how they feel about this or you know not not communicating probably that kind of energy is also coming through even with that uh they made me think about the seven of wands energy it came out along with the chariot energy. So it's, it's like someone doesn't let the other person know how, um, uh, or it doesn't open up. There is something about being guarded. When I spoke about the lines, all right, 
they, they do not overshare. They do not, um, uh, yeah. This person might have a problem seeking help. Okay, there, there could be something of that sort. Yeah, something of that sort. All right. Sagittarius, 35 minutes. Can we have the last card, please? You want me to look at this card, the Knight of Swords, the verdict energy, and then behind the deck is the Four of Wands. This Four of Wands keeps coming up. Okay. There could be some kind of a celebration as well. All right. This is about fast communication. When I'm looking at the Knight of Swords, fast communication, like, like tomorrow you get the, uh, you know, communication. Uh, this is a verdict. Again, the judgment energy. But behind the judgment energy is a three of pentacles energy along with the three of cups energy. So there is something about celebrations. Okay. But uh, there is, uh, you know, uh, it's, it's, I'm getting the words walk and play. Okay. So someone is uh, speaking up. All right. When I spoke about the itchy throat, now someone is deciding, I need to speak up. I guess uh, they, they are willing to uh, communicate or convey what they've decided. And there is something about celebrations. There is something about work. So probably uh, uh, with this uh, with this four of wands energy, which kept coming up, uh, speaks about, you know, coming together, aligning stability or security. Could be a marriage situation as well. I don't know. Uh, but it's, it's like uh, it could be a meetup as well. Because I get this energy from these two cards, you know. Uh, some of you might be deciding to meet. And then talk about this. You know, what can be done. That kind of energy. Alright. Some of you might be dealing with um, a Capricorn energy, a Cancer energy, a Taurus or a Gemini energy, or probably an Aries energy. Kind of chatty. Again, I don't think so. This is for each and every one of you. Very, very, very specific. But a little different. Okay. Like I told you, I was bored with the readings which I did. Because it's it's that time of the year, like uh, the holiday season. And everybody wants to be happy, probably. <laughs> so if you're lonely and you think about... Usually this happens around the Valentine's time. I get mad doing the readings because it's all about the love readings which comes in and everybody is thinking or moaning or grieving about the past person and all that and somebody wants to return. And most of the readings which I got was all about, you know, someone was fixated over the past and all that, all right? And someone is deciding to come back. But yeah, people expect that kind of readings. So, can't help it. All right, can we have the last card, please? Sagittarians. This, for some reason, doesn't look like a relationship situation. The full card jumped out. Okay. And then, you want me to look at this card as well, which is the four of wands. Uh, Full card and the card three of wands. Okay. Behind the deck is the dead card. Interesting. These two cards came out earlier as well. Uh, and I told you this person, if you remember, this person might be expecting to get a new lease of life. That's what I said, I, I believe. All right. They want some kind of a transition to happen within the life. All right, uh, because three of wands is just a person who's waiting for the ships to return. So this person might be hoping for some kind of a transition to happen in their world. All right, some something, some kind of a change. You know, there is something about leaving. <clears throat> this person might not speak about it. Okay, there is something again. Okay. Uh, so it seems like this person might not speak about it, but this is what they want. Okay. 
the transition leaving something behind all right and uh, looking at something new so it's, it's, it's all about yeah it's it's a transition maybe they want something a new environment a new uh, a new journey they want to be on a new journey of some sort okay a new chapter probably this is what yeah for a once this is what they're waiting on probably a new house okay for once this kept coming up that's why this is a house as well for once is like a for uh legs of a table stability and security four walls of a house okay this person expects something new in the surrounding and they're waiting on it okay Behind the three of wands, <laughs> okay, give me a second. Behind the three of wands is the queen of pentacles. They seem to be grounded, okay? They seem to be secure, but there is this energy of expecting. All right, behind the queen of pentacles, there is another card. With, yes, knight of wands, knight of wands and the king of wands. The person whom you're dealing with, I'm speaking to the Sagittarians. All right, the person whom you're dealing with is coming through as the king of wands, which is a, a fire sign energy, but a cancerian or a Leo energy. Yeah, uh, Scorpio or Sagittarius energy. Uh, so this person could be expecting, and I feel like this could be you, all right? Because Sagittarius, um, you, you are charging forward. And they seem to be waiting, all right? With the Three of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles, they seem to be um, a very assured person, self-assured person, okay? Queen of Pentacles, very grounded energy about them. Uh, but they seem to be waiting on... <laughs> Uh, yeah, on something new. Now, the reason why I smiled or smirked or whatever uh, is because this card slipped. All right, there is a couple of cards behind the uh, dead card, a bunch of them, but this card slipped to show me the Seven of Pentacles. So this person is actually waiting. All right, waiting for this transition. So yes, I have one more card to go. Very chatty, very chatty energy. They're waiting on an opportunity, okay, on a solid opportunity which will um, probably take them places with that uh, with that uh, full card, okay. They they expect something new, okay. Can we have the last card, please, Sagittarians? This one is your last card. I'm telling you, you are watching this person. Okay? And you are ready because you, you seem to be confused about them. What is it that they want? But you focus on them because... Ugh. Uh, since I cannot show you the cards, I've done something new, if you've noticed, um, in, in the banner, uh, in the... Do you say it's a thumbnail? I don't know. Um, of the video itself, I, I, I put these cards. Okay. So uh, if you want, you can check because the position of how the cards come through, it's important as well. Yes, the dead card. All right. So it seems like you are focusing on this person, uh, on this lady. All right. You're confused, you're scattered, you don't know what to do, but you focus on this person and you're willing there is another card though. Yeah, you've thought this through. The first was you've thought this through. And now you're willing to t make this transition, the death card. It's, it's almost like you figured it out. Yeah, you were confused before, but yes, you're charging me. You, ch you, you saw me shuffling. The same two cards came out earlier, the King of Wands and the uh, Nine of Wands. You're charging towards them. Because you figured it out, you've thought this through, and now you are willing to take things forward. The transition which they're expecting, you're willing to offer it to them. I'm done with your reading. But they're asking me to break the deck here. 44 minutes, that's, that's, uh, that's a long reading. This one. Five swords. Okay, that's interesting. And the eight of pentacles. 
looking at the eight of pentacles and the five swords there is something about the reason why you're confused because i was a little confused why you so confused um because i told you, you you have that scattered kind of energy uh what, like choices all right what what do i do what do and you're doing a lot of planning because the eight of pentacles so it's, it's like uh, uh, putting your pen on the paper and then trying to figure it out you know if this will work out or this will work out or this will work out that kind of energy because earlier it came it came out with the eight of pentacles along with the five cups energy what if they reject it what if because you you're planning to offer that ace of pentacles and what if they're like nah uh, you know that kind of energy so it, it's like you want this to work out all right you you want um uh, this to work out and you put a lot of thought into this and let's speak about the bias suit five suit it, it's like you're not giving up okay there is this energy about five suit is somebody um, in the picture i don't know if i can show you the picture anymore no they come to as a queen of wands all right Two of Cups and the Wheel. All right, I'm not going to look at it. Uh, so Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands. You're willing to turn the wheel, all right? You're willing to take things forward with this person because the transition with the Death card. Um, along with the Two of Cups, you're willing to partner up with this person. Could be a relationship reading, I don't know. Um, yeah, for some of you, it could be a relationship situation. But uh, is that the Fire Suits? No. I can't find the fire sword, so I'm not going to waste your time. It's already 46 minutes. So in the fire sword, you can uh, see a person who's holding on to a couple of swords. And you can see the others who has walked away. Uh, they have left the swords. They were not willing to have that debate or have that conversation or have that argument. All right. They've given up. So it seems like someone has already given up on this. Okay. If this makes sense to you, it makes sense. Because uh, I, I was done with your reading and they asked me to break the deck. All right. So they showed me the fire sword. So it seems like you haven't given up. All right. Even when the other person has walked away or given up or has lost hope, you are still trying to make it work with that eight of pentacles energy. Does that even make sense? Huh? So this is something which is like... Mm, they don't expect it from you anymore, but then you are still trying to make it work. Okay? Because you still expect uh, the Queen of Wands and you're still expecting things to move forward. Uh, you, you, you want to have that union, like partner up or, you know, if it's a relationship, the commitment. Okay? And there is a, a very fast moving energy. Is behind the death card or I don't know if it's behind but knight of swords energy yeah four swords you've thought this through you've taken your time to think this through now you're charging forward because you already made that decision that's it I wish you the very best this is Marishi you're my channel until next time bye bye